Hi friends, welcome to Inspire from Universe. This is a travel and educational channel. We are going to know about our world's largest island country, Indonesia. Its official name is the Republic of Indonesia. Indonesia consists of 17,000 islands. Sumatra, Java, Kalimantan, and Sulawesi are the important islands here. It's very rich in natural resources. This is the flag of Indonesia. Their currency name is the Indonesian Rupiah. Its value when compared to 1 USD is 14,000 IDR. And when compared to Indian currency, 1 INR equals to 185 IDR. Their cost of living is slightly higher than India. Their language name is Bahasa Indonesia. There are a lot of similarities with the Malaysian language Bahasa Malaysia. It's a very easy language to learn. Their nasi goreng or fried rice is a world famous dish. Even their satay sticks are highly popular. One of the world's most famous noodle brands, Indomie, is from here too. Their traditional costume is called kebaya. Even their batik print is a globally celebrated one. This is the world's largest Islamic populated country. Around 87% of Indonesians are Muslims. During their Idul Fitri festival, all of them travel to their hometown and celebrate with their family. This is called Liberan holidays. When we look at the people's behavior, they are simple and lovely people and they treat everyone with a lot of respect. Their attitude of taking everything in life lightheartedly is a commendable character. When we live there too, even we will learn from them of not to worry about petty things and enjoy our life. In summary, if you have lived there, you won't feel like going back to your country or even a developed country. With their love and respectful service, they pamper us so much that we won't feel like going anywhere. Around less than 5% of Indonesians are of Chinese origin, but they own and control major institutions and wealth of this country. Another interesting fact is the Chola dynasty of South India had established trade with them around 1000 years back. Tamil who migrated those days are living for generations concentrated in Medan city in Sumatra island. Till early 1940s, Indonesia was a Dutch colony for around 300 plus years. Even during that time, Dutch have brought many Tamil from India to work in the plantation industry here. Likewise, noticeable Tamil population is in Indonesia. Apart from this, many from India are working here in finance, garment, engineering and other businesses. All of them have come together to start Indonesia Tamil Sangha in 2011 and are doing various activities to encourage their language and culture here. Same way from the 1850s and mainly during the period of India and Pakistan partition, many cities have migrated with their family to Indonesia. They have established their businesses in garments, carpets, food products and schools. They are a noticeable community with great wealth, power and influence here. Also, Gujaratis, Rajasthanis and many other of the Indian race are highly successful here. All Indians living here have started India Club in 1981 and play a major role in not only celebrating Indian festivals like Diwali and Holi, but also play an important role in establishing our culture and traditions here. So now that we have an idea about Indonesia, let us travel around this beautiful country. Indonesia's capital city is Jakarta. This is their largest city in the country too. Here around 132 meters tall Monas is their national monument. It is in the central Jakarta Merdeka Square. We can say Jakarta as a mall city. There are so many magnificent malls here. A popular children tourist destination in Jakarta is Kidzania. This is the first to be opened in Southeast Asian country. 
It's an education and entertainment combined theme park where children can try all professions in a controlled manner like pilot, media, doctor, chef, police, firefighter, etc. Even children get exposed to operating ATM cards, getting a car license, etc. Children get an unforgettable thrilling experience by performing all these roles here. Another famous tourist spot around Jakarta is Taman Mini. This is a well-planned, beautiful entertainment center combining Indonesian culture and tradition. When you visit here, you get an idea about the whole country. Around 90 kilometers from Jakarta is the famous Taman Safari. This is one of the best safaris in the world. This is around 1,000 meters above sea level and is located in a lush green jungle with streams passing by. Though all animal shows are remarkable, watching the cowboy show will give you a Hollywood movie experience. Tourist favorite getaway destination Bandung is around 180 kilometers from Jakarta. This is around 768 meters above sea level. With mesmerizing climate and pleasing green environment, there are many unique tourist destinations around this city. There's an indoor theme park trained studio here. Indonesia is known for its volcanoes. You can see various volcanoes in this country. We have seen in detail about how these volcanoes are formed, their types, and even about hot springs in our United Kingdom Bat City video. So if you have missed watching it, kindly click the link below and watch it. From around 50 kilometers from Bandung, around 2,430 meters above sea level, is the Kawaputi Volcano. This hot spring lake is spread for around 3 kilometers with 180 feet deep. Based on the sulfur content, climate, and oxidation state, the pH of this lake varies from 0.5 to 1.3. Based on the pH level, the color of this acid water changes from bluish to whitish green to brown. This is located in a dense forest with a chill climate and a serene environment. Researchers believe that it would have erupted in the 1600s. When you stand here, you can strongly feel the sulfur smell too. This is definitely one of the unique places in the world. Local people sell handicrafts and fruits grown here, especially strawberries are very tasty here. In fact, you will be traveling through many strawberry gardens while reaching this place. Next important destination here is Tanguban Perahu. This is around 30 kilometers from Bandung. This volcano erupted first in 1826 and has constantly erupted many times. Even in 2019, people can go near the crater and watch boiling mud and the hot spring. There is a huge hot spring on the shore of this crater. Sari Atar Resort is present on this hot spring with many swimming pools, waterfalls, restaurants and entertainment centers. It is also believed that the hot spring has medicinal benefits. Bangandaran Beach is another popular tourist destination, which is around 220 kilometers from Bandung. This beach is known for its water sport activities like banana boats, snorkeling, etc. There is an interesting 45 minute Green Canyon river rafting trip here. The water will be in emerald green color. You will be amazed to see the magnificent stalactites and stalagmites here. When I started this episode, I thought of making one video about Indonesia. But since this country has so many unique and spectacular destinations, we shall continue in our next video as the final part. Subscribe, share, like and comment. Until we meet again, take care and bye friends!